With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, there, are, there is a figure which is showing that there is a conducting rod of length L, resistance R and mass M, which is moving with a constant velocity V. Now the magnetic field is varying in this condition, which is given as to be B into uh, uh, 5 into T. Now where T is in second. Now at T equals to 0, the area of the loop containing capacitor and the rod is uh, this uh, 0 and capacitor is uncharged. That means uh, at T equals to 0, it would be just uh, basically it would uh, be just at this instant. So we can say that there is no uh, area of the loop. That means there is no flux at the initial situation. Now the rod started to move at T equals to 0 on the fixed smooth conducting rails uh, which have negligible resistance. We need to find the value of the current, uh, the current in the circuit as a function of time. Now also if this uh, above system is kept in a vertical plane such that the rod can move vertically down due to gravity and other parts of fixed and B is constant then we also need to determine what is the value of the maximum current in this part. So in this part we need to find current as a function of time in this part we need to find what is the maximum value of the current in this part magnetic field is constant. Now how can we uh, get to know uh, about uh, this case so first of all we say that if it is moving okay if it is moving so what will happen so we can say that flux would be changing. Why flux would be changing because flux is basically given as phi equals to b into a. Now at some instant of time when the when this rod is just here okay and it is moving with the velocity v. So in t time what is the distance which would be traveled by the rod it would be equals to x would be equals to v into t okay. So we can say that the magnetic field value we already know it is equals to 5t. What would be the area at any instant of time t what would be the area covered by the loop okay uh, uh, this uh, rod it would be unfolded by the rod it would be equals to if L is the length if L is uh, this length so we can say that area would be equals to length multiplied by breadth which would be equals to x which is v into t so we can say that our flux value it would be equals to 5 L v t square now we can say that phi is a function of time that means it would be changing with respect to time if we calculate what is the magnitude of our emf it would be equals to d phi by dt okay so we can say that if we just differentiate this so t square would be 2t so we can write it 10 L V T. This is our EMF which would be induced in this ring. Now what will happen? So if we just draw this situation, so it would be this is our capacitor. Okay, this would be our capacitor and this part is basically moving with some velocity. Now in this part there would be there is an EMF which would be induced. Okay, we just draw. So we can just replace this with the battery like this. Okay, and there is also a resistance in this part. We just draw a resistance here. Now we can see that this EMF would be dropped in the capacitor. The potential drop in capacitor is q by v and there is a resistance so the potential drop in the resistor would be equals to uh, this i into r so we can say that e which is the uh, this emf induced it would be dropped in the capacitor it would be equals to q by c plus in the resistor it would be equals to i into r now if we di differentiate this expression so we will be getting so we can put the value of first of all we put the value of e which is equals to 10 l v t now if we differentiate this with respect to time so it would be equals to 10 10 l v and here if we differentiate so we are differentiating differentiating with respect to time okay this equation that means equation one now dq divided by dt would be the current so i divided by c plus if we differentiate this so it would be r di by dt okay now if we take uh, these term to the other side okay so it would be equals to 10 l vc minus i divided by and we put r in the denominator after uh, uh, this taking the lcm and then adjusting the numerator and de denominator so it would be di by dt or we can say that our di divided by 10 l v c minus i this would be equals to r c divided by dt we can write it like this now if we integrate this expression from 0 to i so we can get the value of the current as a function of time from 0 to t so it is just a simple integration it would be equals to ln it would be uh, coming in natural log ln 10 l v c minus i then there is a coefficient of minus 1 so it would be minus 1 we will be applying so 0 to i then it would be here sorry it is dt divided by rc it is dt divided by rc so it would be equals to t divided by rc okay so if you put the limit and send negative to the other side so it would be ln 10 l v c minus i divided by 10 L V C this would be equals to minus T over R C this is the value so we can say that if we take log to the other side it would be an exponential e to the power minus T by R C so the final value of the current for this part which would turn out to be 10 L 
Vc in the bracket 1 minus e to the power minus t over Rc. So this is the part, this is the answer for our first part of the problem. Now in the second part, so we just write here as the first part. Now in the first second part, we need to find what is the maximum current which is flowing in the vertical part. So we can say that in the second part, for i equals to i max, okay, at the time of i equals to i max, we can say that di by dt, this would be equals to zero, okay. Now in this part, since magnetic field is not changing, so there would be a velocity, okay. So due, due to the velocity, because velocity would be changing. So due to the change in the velocity, there would be an EMF which would be induced. So we apply the same logic, E, EMF which is induced, it's dropped in the capacitor Q by C plus in the resistor. So EMF could be written as in this condition, we can uh, write the value because it is having certain velocity in a magnetic field. So we can say that it would be equals to B into L into V. This would be equals to Q divided by C plus I into R. Now again, if we differentiate this expression, so B is constant, L is constant. So differentiation of V would be equals to acceleration because dV by dt is acceleration. Now here, if we differentiate dQ with respect to C, uh, sorry, T, so it would be equals to I divided by C. Now here it would be di by dt, but we already know that di by dt for the case of maximum value of the current, uh, di by dt, we just write into multiplied by r. For the case of maximum current, we know that this value would be equal to zero. Now what would be our acceleration? So we just apply what would be the various forces which would be acting here. So there would be an mg which would be acting in the downward direction. Okay, so it would be having a current i. So due to which there would be a magnetic force which would be acting in the upward direction, i. B L. Why it would be acting in the upward direction? We can see that current is flowing in this direction. Magnetic field is going into the plane of paper. So using the right hand palm rule, this magnetic force would be in the upward direction. So the net force would be equals to mg minus I B L. So we say that F net, this would be equals to mg minus I B L. This would be equals to mass into acceleration or we can say that our acceleration would be equals to uh, mg minus I B L divided by a now we can put the uh, sorry divided by m we can put the value of acceleration okay if you put the value of the acceleration in equation 2 then we can get the value of our current so it would be bl then mg minus i bl divided by m this is equals to i divided by c now the current which here we would be getting this would be the maximum current and if we solve this then current maximum value would turn out to be mg b l c divided by m plus b square l square c so this is the value of the current this is the basically maximum value of the current hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today